Well, I think it's a great question, and it's something I'm really curious about. I, I think it, it's dependent upon Bryce Young's timeline to return. I don't want to say 100%, but to return at a health perspective where he is as efficient and impactful as he can be. Because I think if it's a long-term injury, the long-term solution is Ty Simpson. I think he can run the offense the way they want it to be run in this day and age. Three out of every four plays with Milrow under center on Saturday, they ran the ball. And that's fine, and that's going to give them plenty of offense against uh, this Texas A&M offense, which can't score more than three touchdowns in a game. So between him and Jameer Gibbs, uh, if Alabama is run heavy, I think that's perfectly fine and okay in this game. But if Bryce is out or impacted um, any longer than a week in any any sort of long-term uh, issue, or if this is an issue that that is recurring, I think Simpson is the better option for what they want to do. I think you know, we've seen him in practice. This dude can absolutely sling it. And he's a coach's son, and he seems to have a very good grasp for a young guy of the offense. And from what we have been told, that quarterback room with Bryce kind of being a mentor to those two guys is a great room to be in, and he's sharing all of his knowledge and information. So I'm not worried about that part of it. But I just think Milro is more limited in the passing game and from a play-calling standpoint than what Simpson is at this point. That's just – from what we can gather, we haven't seen Simpson in a game. We haven't seen, you know, exactly what his ceiling is. But um, Milro is, and the and the rushing offense is perfectly capable to put up points against Texas A and M and enough to win. But if they face an opponent where they have to put a lot of points on the board and and sling the ball around a little bit, it, my guess is is Simpson would be a more impactful long term player quarterback.